name's Kerry Newton and I play Samantha in the Hymns of Aberys film. And I'm Robert David Hartburn and I play Phil in Hymns of Aberys. I'm, I'm a big fan of the horror genre and um, I thought it might be exciting mm. to do something a little bit different to what I've done before because I usually get sort of action, feisty roles and I like the fact that Samantha's, um, you see a even in such a short film, you see a character develop um, this sort of emotional connection between the characters, which I don't get to play normally. Um, and that chemistry and connection, I really wanted to be part of that. There was such, in such a short film as well, there was definitely plenty to do for my character, Phil, from, you know, just the niceness to the, uh, obviously the, you know, <clears throat> the, the rather fun bit. And the, just the, the yeah. violence of it all and everything. And it just showed such a range in the character. Mm -hmm. And the people that were on board as well, I really wanted to work with them as well. So, yeah, they got me on board straight away. I was like, yes. It just seemed really unique and different for a horror film. And I thought it might be quite fun to be part of it. <laughs> Absolutely, but I absolutely loved it. Yeah? Yeah, so they're four hours with, I won't give too much away, but pretty grisly stuff. It's quite shocking, really, the mm. makeup. It's absolutely amazing job that they've done of it. But I loved that. I've just never done anything like that before, and the chance to be made up in that way and to subject myself to sort of real suffering and horror and go through so much and that sort of depth of acting, I was really excited about it. Um, and just love all that gore and grisly stuff. I was really looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when you sat in there and you, you sort of sat there for eight and you can't really see yeah. what's going on and then you have a look in the mirror straight away and you're like, It's wow, quite shocking. It's, yeah, it's shocking really. It's so, so realistic looking. Um, and I said, yeah, just make it as, as gruelling and nasty as you can so that uh, you can throw yourself into the, that, that scene and really live it. Mm. I know it sounds pretentious, but it does help when you've got all that on and it just helps you to get in that kind of pain. It felt really Especially natural. And one, one moment I was sat there and I won't go into it too much, but it, it just felt normal. <laughs> like, a, yeah. like, oh, this is my job. I really normal. enjoyed it. Yeah, it, it didn't was, obviously it look a, normal, but it, then it really dawned on me as I was halfway through it, like, God, this, was, this isn't normal. <laughs> this <yeah>. is odd. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Yeah. This is me now. Yeah, this is my, this is my new job. <laughs> I don't mind as long as you get the shot, you know, if, if it's if it's going to be good, you're only uncomfortable for a certain amount of time, but the film will be out for, you know, years to come or whatever, so mm. I kind of think I'll go through the pain just to You've got to go get, through the, it get the shot, yeah. To be realistic, yeah, because mm. I was, um, again, I'm trying not to give too much away, but I'm covered in bruises, I'm absolutely <laughs> battered and bruised, because you've, it's got to be real, it's got to be raw, mm. and difficult to watch, hopefully, in yeah. all the right ways. Up to a point, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It depends on what point it is. Do we get a stunt double. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty no, good I wouldn't do my stunts. own stunts, I want to do my own stunts. So do I, yeah. yeah. Like Tom Cruise, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're good with rough and tumble. Sally contracts. <laughs> <laughs> working with the team, working yeah. with Rob, just working with the kids, and just that. Just being fun, yeah, yeah, just being really good fun. Everything. Every scene's so different. I think it's, it's more at the forefront of everybody's minds these days because it was something that was never sort of taken seriously as a genuine problem, health issue, illness in the past. It was always some sort of physical health problems. And now um, anything that raises awareness of it because everybody's touched by it um, is a really good thing at some point, whether it's them, themselves, the family, the friends. Um, it's I'm really glad that this is connected with it in some positive way to help people. What do you think of the irony of horror being used to positive mental health. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, anything that does, anything that brings it up and to the forefront of, to the mainstream, that's, that's I think, a good idea. People watch horror, don't they, so? Yeah, and I think because it's quite extreme towards the end of this film, the, um, the issues, mentally, emotionally, that these people have to go through in just one night, I know it's like a condensed version, sort of a very extreme version of a horrendous, mental exhaustion I suppose mm. um, that you can't really compare it to people who've been suffering for years and no. um, so I'm, I don't know I think it doesn't matter what genre it is if 
this is connected with mental health and ways and awareness and helping people, then I can't really sort of link the horror to it directly. It's difficult. Mm. But they certainly go through hell in a different way. To Yeah, that's what it is, I suppose, go through hell in a very quick, violent, extreme, condensed way compared to the way some people go through hell for many, many years, many months and many years, mm -hmm. their own personal hell. Um, there's a little bit of a connection there, I guess. No, I think she's covered it all. I'm <laughs> really talking. <laughs> Red. This is a teacher. Teacher waffling on here. Um, I like film. What? What are we asking? <laughs> no, I, like I like this movies. film. I like um, I lamp. Um, <laughs> bed. Um, <laughs> I think people are falling asleep. I've got enough for this.